if that means you want to have a new leg of the business that is mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. I think it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's absolutely something there. Um, I think the Zoom the answer, no. Do I think Instagram Live's the answer? No, I think it's a supplemental tool that's helping, that's right. keeping us slightly afloat, but any studio that's not looking at the reality is parents don't want to pay the same. Mm -mm. Our overhead hasn't changed. If not, it's gone up. Mm -hmm. Our man hours online have been more than they are in person. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that you're paying a little bit more, even just to have Zoom as an option in that professional manner, pays a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, we still have rent. We still mm -hmm. have our payroll. We still have our independent contractors. We still are now adding more cleaning services for, you know, for in-person stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, it's, it's a lot. And anybody that hasn't looked at how a dance studio is structured, the reality is most dance studios don't make massive profits. You know, right. Can they make money? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So many of us wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't a viable option to live a nice life, right? Mm -hmm. Some have found a way to make a lot of money by opening up more, multiple locations and expanding their rec programs massive. And that is where they're making their money. Okay. Um, you know, but again, it's based on, and I tell this to all my studio owners out there as friends, it's like, there's kind of two sides. It's you have a competition team and that's one business entity. Right. And then you have your, some call it rec, some will call it concert, some will call it, well, I'll just call it technique classes, your tuition based mm -hmm. technique classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That should be able to run the whole business because mm -hmm. the comp team is pretty much just going to cover itself. Right. Um, in, in the reality of it. So if we can't make the nut every month from that tuition, how are we to move forward? Are we now yeah. also supposed to reduce our classes down to just a two room studio? One room is in person, run, one room is gonna now be online. So our rent's cheaper, that means less work for our teachers. So is that really the answer when we're trying, after 12 years, creating a space for all these choreographers, teachers to come in and utilize and have a their livelihood you know for themselves yeah it's devastating i'm watching so many studios close their doors right now 30 year mm -hmm. 40 year 17 years i mean studios that i've looked up to mm -hmm. friends and mentors even that i've had conversations about how to run a studio properly are on the verge of shutting their doors yeah it's crazy <laughs> it's it really is like just hearing you talk about just the nuts and bolts of how it it all runs I feel like, I mean, in, in my conversations and what I think the broader platform of what Icons of Online Movement is trying to do is just to figure out ways for people to connect. And I, it, so it's not necessarily only about teaching online or providing training for instructors to be better, um, you know, better understood in the delay of things, <laughs> you know, so... How do, how do, I mean, do you train your instructors now that are trying to use the Zoom platform in, to, to be able to be an online instructor? Or are they literally just coming into class and, and providing the same instruction, but it's now there's a camera there? You know what I mean? So Right. I mean, I, in all honesty, we didn't do a lot with our faculty. Um, our faculty, I, I love them to death. They are some mm -hmm. of the highest quality trained teachers and educators mm -hmm. I can find. And that's why we have them here. I mean, yeah. I, think, and I, I, I would hope that most studios can say that about their faculty. Mm -hmm. um, they have really taken, you know, we did our Zoom meetings to figure out what we're doing with Zoom. I did a bunch of research and, hey guys, this is the best settings. And I sent them video and oh, pictures yeah. and talked them through it. And so we did <laughs> some education yeah. and we sat around a, a table and Done? No, I mean, last Monday, you know, we t I didn't want to open at June 16th, but California finally allowed us to mm -hmm. because it was in the middle of the month that I already had, I mean, hey, we reduced our costs way down mm -hmm. for online courses over the last three months because I felt terrible charging my parents, even though my cost hasn't changed, actually went up. Yeah. But I want to keep that incentive to keep those kids dancing. To keep Again, it's all a collective decision. It's never just one idea. Yeah. So we started back up last Monday um, for the month of July. And, and how did so that go? You know, it was incredible to see the kids' faces, the ones that yeah. felt comfortable. I mean, we're following all of the mandates of mask wearing, <laughs> you know, having to 
clean like crazy and no one's in the lobby and social distancing being done mm -hmm. spots marked out for them so we are doing all that we can do under the guidelines given mm -hmm. um, you know we are hopeful that that will help obviously in this crazy crisis that we're all in yeah. um, but i can tell you just from the parents and we have a very diverse you know group of parents and families here in long beach signal hill area um very very diverse and so on one hand you're gonna have the well i don't feel comfortable my kid wearing a mask to mm -hmm. the i'm not even sure if i could send my kid back to you for another six months or a year yeah, yeah. i mean on, on that extreme and so uh, obviously we're all dealing with that in our own way in our own world in our own circles mm -hmm. some maybe more than others um but it's and it's a heated you know space yeah. to be in yeah. So I try my best not to even put my own personal opinion on the matter. I just don't. I really am trying my best and my wife. We're trying our best to look at all the information, follow the directives as best we can, um, talk to our city specifically and their communications team and their guidelines and see what we're allowed, not allowed to do um, and make our best decision and offer it with what we can to the families. The families that feel comfortable will mm -hmm. and those that don't will stay online. And all of them that have been online, though, are super hopeful that they can get back soon. Because yeah. I know their kids are going to have a little PTSD after this. And these kids are dying yeah. for an outlet. These kids are dying just to be around, even if it's a six feet, 10 foot hello, you know, or just a chance to move full out, not in their basement, living their, room. Garage, yeah. their living room, their bedroom on carpet. I mean, I think yeah. there were more injuries during COVID than there was <laughs> this last year. Yeah. Because they're trying to turn, you know, on carpet or just be bummed out, but they couldn't move full out. So they went to move full out and they hit a chair. I don't I mean. Yeah. It's just. I, I so saw some, some classes recently um, that have shifted to outdoors. Now, I don't know if that's a, a thing that you could do in your parking lot or, or even how your, yours is set up. Uh, because who wants to invest in flooring outside? But, right. um, you know, to be able to not have such a reduced amount of people in one space and all of that, you know, I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, it's hot, hotter than hot here right now. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's warm. It is definitely yeah. warm outside. Um, yeah. You know, we're more a warehouse style situation downstairs. I moved my classrooms downstairs. Um, we're still keeping our concert slash rec program online this month because mm -hmm. I wanted to reduce the amount of people that are coming in. So yeah. we made the cognitive decision to do our academy, which is mainly our team, along with the people that come in and train uh, more hours per week. Mm -hmm. So they're coming in, again, super reduced down to the room size and what we could fit mm -hmm. based on the dimensions and uh, allowable space. And we're being strict with that. So, yeah. you know, we really have reduced that down. We have massively high ceilings. Uh, we do have natural airflow in there. Mm -hmm. So for us, the risk felt a bit lower than maybe certain other spaces. Yeah, uh, That's why we made the decision to still have classes. But again, we're doing it all downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, I've got, and then we have the Zoom option still being offered at the same time live. So I've set up, you know, three computers and TVs to monitor and I'm logging them in. And, you know, I'm here every day for those hours, making sure that we're running smooth and running clean. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously with the new orders that came out yesterday, they're a little ambiguous, uh, fitness, centers and gyms we're not a gym we're yeah. officially not a fitness center that's not what our license is mm -hmm. we talked to the city everyone's really going to be on a hard line there with it you know so for us because day camps are still allowed right as long as you follow the guidelines and restrictions so we have one coming up in another week um so we're hopeful that we can continue that and we're just going to keep you know in touch with the county in touch with the city mm -hmm. do our best that we can do um keep the kids protected and if masks are doing what they say they're doing, we'll keep following that directive as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and cleaning like crazy. <laughs> um, I think that's never been so clean in a dance I think studio. The fact that's actually going <laughs> to cause my chest to be messed up more than, than anything else. Oh, no. But, you know, but it's, listen, it is what it is. Um, I just, for us, the families that feel comfortable coming back in the studio space, um, those kids are needing it. Those kids mm -hmm. are needing an outlet. Those kids are needing a little bit of exercise. Um, mm -hmm. They need something healthy in their life, mentally, emotionally, physically. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, I mean, outside, I don't know if that would work for us. I think outside, unless you're going to put a full brand new floor, you know, 
but mm -hmm. dancing on cement day in and day out there's a reason we have floated floors there's a reason i went on my hands yes. and knees and hand built our floors before we open to mm -hmm. protect the bodies of these dancers to protect mm -hmm. my yeah. faculty um i just see that as counterintuitive mm -hmm. you know in the long run so again everyone's got to make their best choice moving forward for them and mm -hmm. i think everyone's trying you know mm -hmm. um but the everyone's stuck you know so yeah. i don't i don't envy anybody that's in a choice or place of making decisions heck i don't you know i don't envy the, the governor i don't envy the mayors and, and you know the city council people that are making the, the directives i i just don't envy mm -hmm. any of them because you're not going to win when you make a decision when no. it's such a polarized you know polarized conversation and you know so it's just it's going to be what it needs to be and we're all going to have to continue to give a little bit of grace a little bit of kindness a little bit of love um you know utilize the best judgment for their family mm -hmm. and you know keep a mask on wash your hands if you're feeling a little under the weather stay the heck home don't come around people <laughs> don't get out there <laughs> you know just stay home oh. just stay in your room you know i don't know go up to your backyard and hang out by yourself just so it's it's gonna be it's just gonna be what it needs to be and who knows how yeah. long this thing's gonna last i mean the convention circuit yeah some have gone online i think mm -hmm. you know, gill being gill and being incredible at what he does and being a forward thinker was able to have the means and mm -hmm. team to put together a really successful uh, online program for their nationals. I think mm -hmm. they did an excellent job, um, but most conventions don't have those means either, right? No, right. So it, it's a beautiful thing to see that he's doing it. Um, and I commend him and I appreciate it, what he's trying to do because I know it's all out of a place of care for mm -hmm. the industry. I know it's all out of a, a place for love towards the dance community because mm -hmm. he's hearing not just me he's not just hearing one he's hearing so many studio owners across the country mm -hmm. you know ask for something yeah um, and you know hollywood vibe did theirs this last weekend and i think it went really well for them i hope it did mm -hmm. so anybody that's actually doing those things right now i commend them i appreciate them in the challenging time just to give an outlet yeah uh, um you know for art and movement we are smaller, a little more boutique-y. We keep it really small on the side. We try not to go over any, you know, side regulations already for our venue spaces. Mm -hmm. um, we like the fact that it's a little more hands-on and personal and that's just our take. Um, yeah. It may play in our favor moving forward under the new situation, but yeah. at the same time, who knows if we'll even be able to start up this next season. Cause then I, and I know that's yeah. a worry for many convention competitions and it's a mm -hmm. massive worry for studio owners because they're now having to answer those questions without having any solid knowledge of <laughs> what is it going to look like so you have people yeah. like well we're doing our competition team audition still and we're getting ready and we're going to have all yeah. this and do this and do that and it's like okay for competition that we don't know if they're going to happen or how i know are they, or how are they going to happen you know i mean we're scheduled yeah. to do one in september with countdown and might just be us on stage with a few people in the audience or no people yeah. in the audience uh might be a new live stream only world that we all just don't know yeah